Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. And good morning to all of you, my dear uh, viewers, subscribers. And again, if this is your first time watching my videos, let me just introduce to you myself. I am Pastor Roland Perez. I am a senior pastor, ordained minister when I was only 17 years old. I went to Bible college, took a Bachelor of Arts, and I have 36 years, 36 years of experience in delivering, preaching, studying the words of God. So I'm assuring all of you, unbelievers, mockers, and blasphemers of God, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, Roman Catholic, Mormons, that I know what I'm talking about. Well, continuation of my message. My God! Born in hell for eternity. That's right. Not one of you will escape hell. I'm assuring all of you who mock, who blaspheme, who deny God. You are just kicking against the bricks. Which channel I know you are watching my video now, Miss Piano, and when I'm 666. All of it is in blasphemers. You have Duljako 188, R2 Bad, Bad 06, Kulete East, Seneki Makar Abmatic. You might be wondering how come you are still alive? What is the purpose of life? Well, I have to tell you this. God is just giving you chances after chances to repent. To repent and turn from your wicked ways and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And stop blaspheming God. Stop mocking God. Stop denying God. But in doing so, you are just adding torments after torments to your soul in hell. I pity all of you. Why are you so fool before God? The Bible is very clear. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man saw it, that shall he also rip. Believe the gospel. Believe the words of God. Or you will all be tormented in hell. Okay, Artuba, what is your argument? What is my argument? My argument is this, if you will not stop mocking, blaspheming, and denying God, you will also be, surely be tormented. Why are you so full in not believing in God? Let me just drink my tea. Mm. Okay, cool it is. Your argument is very impossible. It is very impossible. You know why, Goliathis? Because you cannot accept the fact that God exists. You know why? Because you love darkness more than God. You're full of evil, full of Satan. Are to back again. I chose not to believe. Yes, that is your choice. You can do that, Mr. Artubak. And all of it is in blasphemous and the markers of God. You can do that. But for how long? On Judgment Day, I am assuring all of you who deny, who mock, and blaspheme God, that one of you will escape the wrath of God. This is what I can assure you. If you will die and did not repent, did not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Hell will be your eternal home. I guarantee you that, and that's for sure. Okay, again, Artubad. <clears throat> you are right. I have only one life. I am not going to waste it believing in your invisible friend. <laughs> you know what? I cannot just help myself but to laugh. Why are you so fool? The devils even believe that there is only one God and they even tremble. So therefore the, devil are, the demons are even better than you 
At ease and believers. Cool at ease again. I'm sure I'm a better person than you will ever be. You will be disappointed when you die, ending up in nothingness. <laughs> ending up in nothingness. Cool at ease. You do not know what you're talking about, sir. I just fit to you. Sis Zio One and Coco the Gorilla. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for watching my videos. Combardus enjoys it too much. No way! It has never been my wish, my intention, that even one of you will go to hell. I do not enjoy it that you will go to hell. You know why? Because I pity your soul. I've been telling all of you. I was once like you. Probably even worse. I was a terrible sinner. Gambler, drunkard, troublemaker. I don't have any hope. My life was very meaningless, hopeless. Until God one day sent a minister, an American preacher, who came to my house and told me about God, about Jesus Christ, the Judgment Day, about heaven and hell. Now I can choose not to believe that guy. I was a Catholic, altar boy. I was very arrogant. But I chose to believe in God. I chose to believe and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You see, God cannot do anything in your life, all of you at ease, if you will not let Him. Because God gave you this free will to believe God or to believe Satan. But right now you, you chose to believe Satan. I pity all of you. Okay, uh, um, modem talk, modem corn. Is this a joke? Sir, this is very real. P channel, you need to present an evidence. P channel! You know, and you miss piano. What evidence are you talking about? I've been telling you, if there is no God, will there be an, a universe? Mr. P. Channel, we can argue 24 hours a day, but it will do no good. You know why? Because it is very clear. The natural man cannot receive and understand the things about God. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. That means say, those who are very materialistic, those who have darkness, those who prepare to live in sin. And you are one of them, Mr. P. Channel. And I pity all of you. Why are you so fool? Okay. Eternal and dying love. Stop lying to the world and to yourself. Jesus never existed. Eternal and dying love. I have to tell you this. You are so full before God. Only fools deny, mock, and blaspheme God. She was just kicking against the bricks. See with monster. Yes, sir. Go to hell. Must be, you know. God created perfect and sacred. Why do we commit sin? It's like this, Mr. Cook. Piano. When God created Adam and Eve, yes, they were perfect. They were very innocent. They didn't know anything about sin. They enjoy living with God. And God put them to a test. This privilege is a gift of God. God tested them. To see if they will remain loyal and faithful to him. God told them they can eat all kinds of all, all the fruits into that garden of Eden. Or there's only one forbidden tree, forbidden fruit, not to eat. And yet they chose to disobey. They chose not to believe in God. They disobeyed God. Yes, they were perfect, but they, you see, this free will is God's gift to mankind. Now, 